Hello, everybody. Welcome. Let me get my comments up here. I, um, it's, I feel like, how is it that it's Wednesday already? It has been a really crazy week, you guys. I did not do a live on Monday because I knew that I would be doing one today. And then there's just been lots of things happening. So I'm just going to give it a minute. We're just going to sit and chat really awkwardly for a minute <laughs> while everybody comes in on Facebook. If you're watching this on a YouTube, hey Daisy, if you're watching on YouTube, I'm not live on YouTube. I am, you're watching the replay on YouTube. There is chapters on the video so you can skip through to whatever part you want. And then I promise you guys, I will be back to my edited videos for those of you on YouTube. I know that it's frustrating for me to not be live, but be doing a live video. Um, I will be back to my edited videos, which are shorter. They're between five and 12 minutes um, starting next week. It's just been a little bit crazy. Hey, Julie. Hi, Elizabeth. Hey, Carol. I'm so glad you guys are here. So we're going to make three cards today um, in a minute. I have three of them laid out here, and I was rushing like crazy to get them designed for our live because today I want to do, um, my video today is my Hello April video, which is all about all of the things that are happening in April. So um, April is going to be a weird month this year because um, I'm going to be in pre-order for the new catalog. So if you're a demonstrator, um, we've actually already seen the catalog. We saw it last week. Um, we got our pre-order list today and pre-order starts tomorrow, which is April 1st. So because of that, it's going to be really crazy. And then I am going to be designing for a lot of things that are coming up. So April is always like a really different month um, in terms of like work stuff. So um, I want to share with you guys what is happening for the month of April, what my ordering specials are going to be, because also because the new catalog's coming out, I will be doing all of my new catalog stuff. So new catalog letters and wish lists and mailing catalogs out. And it is just a lot of like administrative work that I'm, I don't normally have. So that's kind of what's happening. April's going to be a little bit... Um, busy, like busier than normal. So I wanted to give you guys an update on how I put these together. Remember last week I pulled all my retiring stuff and then I decided to go ahead and break up my stamp sets and keep the sentiments that I really love. So I even went through my older retired product and pulled stamp sets to do this. So um, I am going to need to stock up on coffee, Daisy. <laughs> I've been up since six this morning because Pip and I had our meeting. Um, she's in the UK, so it was nighttime for her and early morning for me. And we had our meeting for our annual catalog paper party. And I am, I am so excited for this paper party with her. We have one that we did um, that's under our belt and we kind of figured out a groove and this one we're very, very excited about. So I was up really early um, doing a planning session with her and then I just went right into <laughs> designing and doing this live and it is going to be busy. So what I did, um, if you missed that, I'll try to remember to stick a card so you can, if you're on YouTube, you can just click the video, the replay. But I did a Facebook Live last week where I pulled all of my retiring stamp sets out and um, decided what I was going to do with them. And I put together some some of these that are just sentiments. So this one um, it are large sentiments. And both of these fit. So the Ridiculously Awesome, which I will keep. And then the So Sentimental. Um, I will keep. And they fit right in here. And then I did a birthday case. And I don't have that many birthdays, so I just did one sheet. So I took basic white cardstock and I cut it down. And um, just to measure this, I think it was like five by seven is what I think it actually is. And then I stamped the sentiments that are on here. So these are all birthday related. And then 
I have a couple that are really full. So like this one is all just, um, I think these are photo photopolymer. Oh, and look, mine all fell. I'm going to have to deal with that. Um, yeah, so these, it looks like they kind of have fallen. Um, I need to wash these with hot soapy, like warm soapy water, and then they'll stick better again. I have some that are kind of all over the place. That's all you have to do with your photopolymers that aren't sticking is just rinse them in warm um, soapy water and then they'll be sticky again. But then all I did was stamp on the outside. Hey, Bobby, which ones? Um, oh, you're doing laundry while watching. I'm glad you're doing laundry and not me because I hate doing laundry. <laughs> and then same here. So again, a lot of these have fallen because these are my older ones. So I just need to, um, again, wash them and then they'll stick. But um, yeah, all of these fell because these are from my older retired sets. But now they're stamped on here and I can see clearly what they are. And then I have this one and I think this is red rubber. So I did that. I split them up into red rubber and then photopolymer um, just for the ease of storing them. Um, and I have a little bit more room in here so I can continue to do that. Um, I really love this. I think this is going to be fantastic um, to do. I'm so glad I did this. So that is, I just wanted to give you guys an update on how that ended up coming together. So for today, we're going to make three cards and I'm going to jump right into this because it's a lot to make. And these are my favorite card kits for April. So whenever you place an order with me, you get a my favorite card kit. So that means you get all the pieces to make the card that I show at the beginning of the month. You get a little packet. Um, they ship out the day that you order, either that day or the next day because they're already done. So I package everything up. I cut everything. I send the... Um, card kit to you and you get to make it. I try to keep these really simple so that you can just add a sentiment or any image that you want so that you don't have to worry about necessarily what the focus is not the product for my favorite card kits. The focus is the card kit. So this month for the month of April, you will get two my favorite card kits. We're going to make three um, and then you will get two of these three. I need to have some extra on hand for when people don't receive theirs. If they get lost in the mail, I still like to send them. And then the other thing that you get is you get an email from me. I thank you for the order. A PDF is attached with all of the measurements, a photo, and then the supplies. And then this video is linked so that you can follow this video putting your card kit together. So this month, any order, it doesn't matter what size order it is, you will get two card kits from me. And then if your order is $50 or more, then you will get a Wink Estella pen from me. So that is one of these. So you'll get a Wink Estella. So the card kit comes immediately. The product comes a little bit later. So it's on about a two week delay for me because I have to close my workshop order, add all of whatever product. So if 10 of you order, then I add 10 Wink Estellas, and then I have to wait to get that from Stampin' Up, then I send that out to you. So there's a little bit of delay getting your product, but your card kit you will get immediately. So um, we're going to make three cards today, and again, you'll get two. In the month of April, you'll get two My Favorite Card Kits. So let's get started. I have a lot of this stuff um, done so that... It will go quicker. Huh. I'm missing the piece. So for this one, I'm going to use the sentiment from Simply Succulent. So Simply Succulent is carrying over. It will be in the new catalog. And it has dyes that go with it. It's really cute. And... Hold on, you guys. I am missing a couple pieces here. There it is. Okay. This is a fun one. I don't usually do cards in purple. Um, I realize I just... Um, I love purple. This Highland Heather reminds me of my grandma. And I love purple, but I don't tend to gravitate towards 
doing cards in purple. And so I thought this would be a nice change. So the first piece is just going to be our card base. Again, I don't share all of the measurements in these cards because these are for customers. Um, they get the PDF with all the measurements. My cards are very simple. So if you don't wanna order from me and you don't want the PDF and you don't want the card kit, that's totally fine. Um, you could probably just look at it and recreate it. Okay, so I have a piece of Gorgeous Grape and then I have the Highland Heather. And then the next piece that we're going to do, and for the sake of this video, because it's going to be pretty long, I don't think I'm going to pop anything up. So the next piece I want to do is the Whisper White piece. And this is where we're going to stamp our sentiment. And what I'm going to do is just lay it on here. I'm not going to glue it because I want to stamp and just in case my stamping doesn't turn out great, um, I want to be able to flip that over. So I have a piece of designer paper here and this designer paper is retiring. This is the um, Artistry Bloom, I think is what it's called. Then we're going to use Gorgeous Grape for our sentiment. And then our sentiment says, you make the ordinary extraordinary. And I'm going to get this right in front of me. So I'm going to be off camera for just a second. But I promise I'll be right back. So I'm just going to stamp the sentiment and try to get it as straight as I can. Sort of in the middle of the paper. So it can be a little bit harder to get it... Um, to get it straight, but I think that that worked pretty well. And then let's close this. Hi, Linda. Good morning. Or maybe afternoon where you're at. Close to afternoon. So when you get your two card kits this next month, um, you will get, it'll just be random. I'll just pick, um, and I'm going to show you four different cards and four different card kits I'll have. And then you'll get... Um, just randomly, you'll get two, two card kits. So I thought that would be really fun this next month to offer two of my favorite card kits. So we have this strip. And it's going to go down right here. And I probably should have made that over a little bit farther. But we'll see. So the next thing I have, and I thought this would be fun... I have, these are from the Daisy Punch, the large Daisy Punch, and those are carrying over. So I just have two in purple, and I'm gonna put these together so that it creates this very full flower. And then with my nail, you could also do it with your bone folder, or a pen, or a paintbrush, or whatever. I'm just gonna curl up the edges a little bit. So not a lot. When you mail it in the in the envelope, it'll get flattened down to a little bit. And then I have a Highland Heather, and this is a three and a quarter um, inch circle. And that's going to go right in the middle. And then I need dimensionals. We have to have dimensionals for this one. You guys should see my office. It has exploded. I have all the projects we're making today out. I have notes and um, parts of the new catalog printed out from my meeting with Pip for our paper party. Um, I have stuff for my memory keeping document group out. It's like sort of a little bit insanity, all the things. So this is our first favorite card kit. And I just thought it was so fun with all the purple you could take your Wink Stella and add a little bit of glimmer to the middle of your flower. You could pop that up a little bit more. It would be pretty, but I just thought that was so pretty. So that's our first card kit, and I used the Simply Succulents. Uh, that's the um, sentiment. Okay, so the next one that we're going to do is going to be probably the one that is the most work. So let me bring my whole pile of stuff over here. Another Wink Estella, because I always have multiple Wink Estellas everywhere. And we have some markers. Okay. 
And we have several ink pads and a few stamp sets. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is this is Calypso Coral. Yay, I'm so excited, Missy, that you'll be doing the paper party again. That will be fun. This one, Pip and I had a long, like, conversation about how to organize it a little bit better and make it a better experience. And we're planning on doing some more lives with the group. I love... um I loved doing the paper party with Wendy, but the thing is, is that Wendy, when she gets to the paper party itself, she doesn't want, like, she feels done. Like, she doesn't want to do a bunch of lives. She doesn't want to do, um, like, it's like she just feels like she's done with the process. And I always want to do more. Like, I always want to be live with everybody and stamp with everybody and hang out with everybody. And so of course it's always a compromise when you work with another person. So I always just thought, okay, like she's just not up for it. It's totally fine. Pip is the exact opposite. She's like, Hey, at the event, let's do more lives and let's connect more with people. And I love that. So it's, it was really fun. Um, kind of having that conversation with Pip and planning to do some more lives and more interaction for the actual party. I'm really excited about that. And there's nothing wrong with the other way. It just, you know, is preference. Um, doing lives and stamping like this, it can be really exhausting. And so um, I totally get it. But I'm very excited that Pip was up for it. So I just started with Eclipso Coral card base and then oh good missy she said i like how you package the paper i try to do a really good job with it and then this is a daffodil delight um layer and then the next piece we're going to use is from the um this i think is from the artistry bloom the same one that the other piece is from in fact there's some of that purple from that set and so we're just going to put this, layer this right on top here. And then again, I'm missing one piece. I just got to grab it. So we're going to take our large stitched nestle die. You'll get this whole die and you'll need to snip it a little bit. And I know that this is retiring. This is one of the dies that are retiring. I will continue to use this die um, because I love it. Just like I will continue to use my stitched shaped dies, I'm not going to get rid of those. Okay, so let's do our stamping. Now for this, you can use anything you want. What I'm choosing to do is I'm choosing to use the nothing better than stamp set because it has this little cocktail cup glass on it. You could use anything. You can use a floral image. You can use a, um, an animal image. You could use um, anything that is an image to go here or you don't even have to use an image. You could add some ribbon. I'll show you um, what you could do if you don't have the stamp set. So we need, um, I'm going to use VersaFine and we're going to stamp the cup. So we'll stamp this cup right here. Perfection. Done with that. Then we're going to use Calypso Coral and we're going to stamp the inside of the cup. So I'm going to get right over it to do this. So I can hopefully not go outside the lines. It's not perfect, but in fact, it's at an, quite a bit of an angle. Uh, hold on, guys. Um... Y'all, yeah, ask her in one minute. I'm on a live. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm getting in texts. 
<sighs> okay, hold on one second. Kayla? Babe, can you ask Kayla if she wants to walk to Pokerville with Macy and then text Wendy back that I'm on a live and figure it out? Is Daddy in here? Oh my gosh, sorry you guys. <sighs> okay, as if this video is not long enough, I had to stop to do all that. Okay, sorry you guys. Talks amongst yourselves. Okay, so this is crooked, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Then I'm gonna use Sending Positive Thoughts, and this is from this stamp set here, which is retiring, but I'm gonna keep all the sentiments. It's one that I'm gonna break up the sentiments because I don't necessarily really even care for the images. This is one that I just wanted the sentiments for. So I will do that. So we're going to take crushed curry. And we're going to stamp the sentiment. And it's, it's crooked because I'm flustered. Okay. And then let's color all the pieces. So again, if you, this is totally, I got to restamp all this, you guys. I can't, I can't barely take it. Okay, let's do this again. It's funny. Sometimes my family is like, they don't get it when I say like, I'm live, I need to do this. And then other times they do. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> now let's stamp the sentiment again. And let me, ch I got to get right over it, you guys. Okay, so that's way better. <laughs> I know you should, it's you shouldn't be a perfectionist, but sometimes Okay, then let's do Calypso Coral again. And then let me try to get this. Okay, that's better. At least it's not crooked. It's not in there perfectly, but it's not crooked. And then what I have here is I have Pumpkin Pie, Blushing Bride, Crushed Curry, and Calypso Coral. So we're going to do the Lemon and Crushed Curry. So again, I don't want you to be discouraged. If you don't have this stamp set, you can still do this card kit if you get it. So you can just do it, like just do a floral image or um, even if you have a, um, like an image that has like a person or like that kind of image, you can do that. You can also just do the sentiment and then tie ribbon here. So there's a couple different ways that you could put this together. So I'm going to do orange and pink for the umbrella. And then I'm also going to do orange and pink for the bottom of the glass. I You could just leave that as if it was, um, you know, clear. But I like to be able to add a little bit of color to this. So we'll do color here. And then... I am going to add a little bit of Wink of Stella, a tiny bit because that black will bleed. I didn't use the right black ink pad, but just a little bit of glitter. The sentiment is from this one. Sending positive thoughts. And if you had this stamp set, you could use any of the images. You could do a butterfly here. You could do a punch. You could do a nut. You could do a heart punch. Um, there's tons of different things that you could do. Instead of doing the stamped um, cocktail cup, if you don't have that one, okay? And I'm going to show you my inspiration for this card, and you'll see it. it's totally different. Because this is a card that I've already, this design is one I've already made. 
Okay, so we'll add that here. Like so. Okay, so let me show you the inspiration for this card. And also, uh, where is it? It's right here. Okay, so this is the first one I designed to when I was trying to figure out what I was going to do. I've added some sequins, and you'll get the sequins in your favorite card kit packet. Okay, so super simple, right? I love the sequins on it. It really pops. The other thing you can do is you can emboss your background. If you have an embossing folder that you want to use, that would look totally awesome. Okay. So this is the inspiration for the card. So what I did here is I just used an image. Um, you know, this is two people. And then I added ribbon here. So you could add your sentiment over and then you could just add the ribbon and that would be totally fine. It would still look great. Okay, so there's that card. So this is the one that is the my favorite card kit that you'll get in the mail. That's card number two. Let me get all of my things over here. Okay, so now this next card, I'm gonna show you the card. We're gonna put one together and then I'm gonna show you a different color. So what I'm going to use first. Okay, so I'm using fancy phrases. Now this is one I took all the sentiments out and put them into my sentiment cases. And then the only thing that's left in here are the floral images. In fact, I had to dig this stamp set out of my retired box because I had already moved it out of the house. So I had to really quickly run and grab it. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to show you it in two different colors. So you'll either get um, the pink card base or you will get a smoky slate card base. So the first thing that we're going to do is we have our card base and I've sliced some of this off. So you can see that. Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to get this piece. This paper is from this paper right here. This is gorgeous paper. I'm sad to see this paper go. I didn't like it in the catalog, but once I got it, I was like, oh, this is gorgeous. So there's some pink and some gray pieces. So for the pink one, if you get the pink card base, you will get the gray designer paper. This is just going to go down like so. Just like that. Okay. You can color this paper as well. It would look beautiful if you colored it with your blends. Then you're going to have a stitch rectangle and this is what we're going to do. If you get the gray designer paper, you're going to want to stamp in pink. You're going to want to stamp your floral image. Any floral image you have would work. Again, if you don't have fancy phrases, it is a stamp set that you should totally pick up before it retires because it's beautiful. The floral image is beautiful. You don't actually have to color this. It actually looks really pretty without being colored. Um, or you can color it either way. Um, and then it has great sentiments. So I've kept my sentiments from this one. And then I just, I wiped this off with a wipe. So I just want to dry it. Okay. Actually, I'm going to leave this here because we're going to do something else. Okay. So since this is the gray designer paper, we're going to grab our, this is um, Blushing Bride, and ink up our floral image. And I'm gonna put this at an angle. Like so. Okay. 
I'm also going to, cause I have a, I want to do one other thing and show you guys. So I'll clean that off and then set that aside to dry. And then I'm using a sentiment. Um, it's the little something for you. And we're going to do that in gray. So this is smoky slate. And I got to get right over this to make it straight, you guys. Not bad at all. Okay, then we're going to take this. I'm just adding this on. I wasn't even planning on doing this. Okay, so I have an envelope here. Then I have the floral image and we'll ink this up with gray. Then we can shut that ink pad so that I don't get it everywhere. And then... How gorgeous is that? Okay. So that's the envelope. And then here is, I want this to dry or it's gonna warp my, card. Okay, so now I have this. And we're gonna put this on here and it's gonna hang over that edge. Then I have these, these are elegant faceted gems. Uh oh, something's happening with Violet. I Sorry, I got quiet, you guys, I was listening. Something's happening. Okay, so I'm just adding those. Perfect, right? Then it can go with the card or with the envelope. Like, how pretty is that? Well, she went back over there. Okay, so um, here is it in gray. So you may get it in pink or gray if you get the card kit. So, so how pretty are those? So let me show you guys the card kits for this month's my favorite for April. I know we're right here at the end of March. So for the month of April, you will get two my favorite card kits. So you'll get two um, of these combinations. So either the pink or the gray or this one or this one, like it, it'll be random. You won't get both of these. Um, I'll make sure I track all of that. So I will make sure that you're not getting two of these because they're the same, but you'll get two of the rest of the designs. So I hope that you guys enjoyed these cards. Um, I am wrapping up my month of March here, this last day today. I'm doing a bunch of admin work to make sure everybody got card kits and everybody got thank you emails for all the orders that came in for March. And then I'll be prepping all of these. I have stacks and stacks of cut card stock everywhere to prep these. And these will start going out tomorrow is the first. So these will be going out all of April. And then if you're, if you order any amount, so even if your order is $10, you will get a card kit. If your order is $50 or more, you will get the two card kits and then you will get a wink of Stella. So I will be sharing all of that. Um, you guys will see that I'll pop up a new host code here on the thing. And then um, next week, I will be back to shorter videos, edited videos that will go up on my website as well. It's just been a little bit of a crazy month. So I hope you guys are all doing well and that you enjoyed these cards. And I will be back also on Saturday, I will have another organizational video. So um, I will have that up for you on 
Saturday and I'm hoping <laughs> that April will feel more normal. We'll be back to like normal things and edited videos and the kids go back to school. Andrew goes back four days a week. Violet's been going four days a week. Kayla's at two days a week. So I think a year later, exactly a year later from when I feel like life fell apart, I feel like we're starting to get back to normal. We're returning the kids' computers from school. We're returning them today, and I'm so happy to see them go. If I never see Chromebooks again, it will be too soon. So um, all of, so hopefully April, I will feel like in a better place with all of the things that are happening. Anyways, you guys, I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will chat with you guys later.